Hey, what's up everybody? I recorded this video on Thursday, March 31st, 2022. It's 2.30 p.m. and it's 73 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. And I'm in Washington, D.C. today about to explore the neighborhood of Georgetown for the first time. There's a historic area and some speculate that this town was named after King George II of Great Britain. But uh, there's other places that say that it wasn't named after him. But this uh, town predates the foundation of Washington, D.C. It was founded in 1751 in the province of Maryland. And it predates the establishment of Washington, D.C. by 40 years. I know the uh, port of Georgetown is very important since uh, historically this area was the furthest north that boats could navigate the Potomac River. And I know there's like a big commercial district here and uh, Georgetown University is also very well known. And there's also a, um, a house here that's gained prominence during the Exorcist movie. So uh, let's go and check it out. I don't really know anything about this uh, area. Heck, before I even did any research on it, I didn't even know Georgetown was in Washington, D.C. But this is Pennsylvania Avenue and 28th Street. It's starting to rain right now, too. I may have to put, put my umbrella up. I like the, how the sidewalks are laid out already with all these bricks. It gives it a very historic feel. Oh, this is the Four Seasons Hotel. I know this is a high-end hotel. They're also sponsoring a mural, Murals DC 51. Across the street, I see some retail chains and then some mom and pops. I'm guessing that's how it's gonna be for uh, a lot of this neighborhood, a mixture of well-known uh, retail chains and then mom and pop stores. The architecture of this neighborhood really makes you feel like you're back in the 1700s. Take a look at this one. Even the Wells Fargo building over there. Really nice. And I'm gonna put up my umbrella. I think I'm gonna need it. If it'll open, that is. There we go. I had to uh, look again because I didn't know if Say Cheese was a cheese store or a photography store, but it's a photography store. And now we're on Georgetown's main street, M Street. Many of the streets in Washington, D.C. are named after the letters of the alphabet being sequential. And um, the diagonal streets are named after the states. The most well-known is Pennsylvania Avenue, which is where the White House is located. 
some pretty cool cheap shops here. Olive oil, there's a veterinarian. There's also a French restaurant there too called Maxime, which looks pretty cool. I guess the old stone house is also a uh, big landmark in this neighborhood as well. And there are signs pointing to Georgetown's historic waterfront, which I hope to get to by the end of this video. It's an Italian restaurant. Let's go across the street. I like the uh, the stores on this side. We'll go check them out. There's some homes up this block which are wooden frame as well. not be worth it to keep my umbrella open if the wind's going to be this strong. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to leave my umbrella open. Let's close it up. Sprinkles, looks like a dessert store, cupcakes. Yeah. Feels like you can do a lot of shopping here as well. The Nike store is over there. There's also Ray-Bans across the street. And uh, here's the uh, old stone house. Who knows how old this house is? Do they have it listed? This house looks like it's frozen in time. Built in 1766, it was uh, Bridge Street before, and then it became M Street Northwest. Pretty amazing that this is still standing. You would think with the uh, constant development of Washington DC that places like these will no longer be here, but this is pretty cool to see. Amigo Mio Mexican.
pretty pricey if I might add. Hopefully they give you a lot of food. Wonder how far this commercial street goes. I love the color of some of these buildings. There's yellow for L'Occitane and blue for Doc Martens. Hey, Crumbs and Whiskers, Kitten and Cat Cafe. There's a cat there sleeping in the corner. Georgetown University to the right. I guess I have to pay a visit to Georgetown while I'm here. So I guess this is another section of Georgetown that's all commercial. There's Wisconsin Avenue and M Streets, which are two very big streets here. I'm looking at Google Maps though, Georgetown University is actually straight ahead on M Street. I don't know why that sign pointed to the right here. Wonder what's the story of this building? It says Georgetown Park in Bloom. 
and it has a lot of flowers around the entrance. I'm really enjoying the feel and the look of Georgetown. What really attracts me to this neighborhood is the sidewalks, which are all laid out in brick. what Alanya is. So the hair salon? Yes it is. Piano bar, huh? Wow, there's a line for this place. Georgetown Cupcake. It must be really famous. Or well known. I like the boxes, they're pretty.
It's a really cool alley. That's the uh, diplomatic embassy of Ukraine across the streets. And as you can see, it has a lot of flowers and signs of support all along the front. Bicycle Pro Shop. And they're next to a Trek Bicycles Company. This bridge looks like it goes over the Potomac River into Virginia. Thank you. This is a very cool street. Thirty fifth Street Northwest. Steep street too. Not really liking this area for walkability. Oh, here's Georgetown University Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. I wonder where the main uh, campus is, unless I walk too far. All right, I think I can make another right turn here. Actually, I may be going the right way. All right, this is it. the famous exorcist steps and then there's the exorcist house at the top of this 
pretty steep staircase. I wonder if it's going to be haunted. Certainly very steep. Wow, nice encouraging messages at the top of the staircase here. <laughs> Stairs are a killer, no kidding. They should have an elevator option. All right. What does this say? Hollywood on the Potomac. Think of Georgetown as a real life equivalent of MGM back lot. Well, they're telling about the Exorcist movie. And the Exorcist house is right over here. What is this? People taking pictures of Transformers? Let's go across the streets.
I think the main entrance to Georgetown is uh, coming up either over here or further up there but this is the uh, the oldest Catholic institution of higher education in the United States founded in a Jesuit tradition in uh, 1789 as a Georgetown College that's what I'm reading I can deal with some more stairs. This is a gorgeous campus. I hope, because I'm walking to Carbon right now. It's the library building. Sounds like a campus tour or open house. Who's this statue of? John C. No, John Carroll, founder. wonder what's around the back of this building if I can even get back there
guess down there are the athletic fields. All right, well, uh, let's loop around to the front of Georgetown University again. And then uh, let's see if I can walk along the waterfront. go this way it will be cool to see the back of this building Maybe I could even walk through the building to the front because I don't see any way around right now. Gorgeous fountain. Should be very easy to walk through the front. Looks like there's a class in the session there or something. How does an empty classroom look like? Wow. Clean and modern. I mean, it's an old school, but the lecture room looks modern, renovated. Well, that was the semi-full campus tour of Georgetown University, or I should say partial campus tour.
it's a nice quiet street with the exception of the airplanes that is So uh, I've got a better idea. Let's go walk into Virginia and then I could take the uh, metro from there. It'll give us a better view of the river as well. I'll be going down the exorcist steps again and then going over the Francis Scott Key Memorial Bridge. Unless, uh, I'm not really sure if I could walk over this bridge from here. Oh yes, looks like I can. Just need, need to be very uh, sure because on Google Maps sometimes it's hard to see if one level is layered over the other. Now, uh, these stairs may be more dangerous going down than they were going up. So I will try to be careful going down them. Here we go. <laughs> the stairs are killer. Now, uh, I will be holding on to the handrail going down these stairs just in case. Oh boy. I think I want to be holding on to the left side handrail. One slip on this staircase and you may regret it.
Also, some of the ledges here are uh, uneven. They're worn down, so. Yeah, near the bottom, these stairs are really worn down. Okay. Now that that's done, I can breathe a sigh of relief. And there's Virginia. Let's walk across the Francis Scott Key Memorial Bridge. This is not too friendly at all. Walking sign here, but then we don't get another one on this side. I think I'll risk it by going really quickly. This is the first time I'm ever going to be walking between uh, Washington, D.C. and Virginia. dirt trail there right along the side of the river. I didn't even see that. Seems like a pretty uh, convenient path for those who want to get some dirt biking in. Atomic River. Oh, 
Over there you can make out the top of the Washington Monument. hard to believe it is the closest metro stop that there's no dedicated metro stop in uh, Georgetown for all these students and all the people who work here and live here it's closer to walk to Virginia and take the metro than it is to walk to uh, foggy bottom George Washington University Station that's where I uh, got off from originally and then I walked over here but now I realize it's closer to go from here. Actually, I uh, 
take that statement back. It was closer to get off at my original stop and then do the initial walk, but where I ended it and stopped at Georgetown University, this is closer now. But it's pretty fun. We got to uh, see a whole different state and see what it's like. And we are in Virginia, just like that. wonder what's up with this sign that says George Washington. So this is Roslyn, Virginia, or Roslyn. So uh, I think I need to make a left and then a right. Still have the walking signal. The metro station should be a block or two down from here.
Pizza, that's the name of this restaurant. Funny name, but they celebrated 10 years here already. I think the metro station is in here to so the right. Roslyn City Center. This has to be uh, where it is. Up, oh, I see it. M Metro. Roslyn Station. This is the metro station. Unfortunately, I won't be able to record these, the metro ride itself because they don't allow recording inside the trains or the buses, but I can go up to the platform. Uh, first, I need to refill my, uh, my transit car because I don't have enough money to get back. You pay based on the distance traveled here. So, um, 
I need to go to uh, Good question. I don't even know the name of the stop I'm going to. Uh, Noma Gallows at U. And it's a uh, peak fare I need to pay right now. So uh, it's $2.65. So I have to add uh, one dollar and fifteen cents because I have a dollar fifty left. So uh, this is how it works. Tap card total one fifty. Add value uh, plus minus C to change value. Let's see. Uh, this is my first time I've done this. Oh, you're kidding me. The lowest I can do is a dollar fifty-five. All right, I guess I'll pay it. Insert and quickly remove card. What card do they mean? My smart card or my credit card? Let's try the credit card. Yes. Retouch the car to complete. Hard to do this with one hand, folks. All right. There's my receipts. So you tap to the reader like this. Uh, I'm unfamiliar with these terminal names, so I'll just look for the one on the platform that says to downtown DC. I'm pretty sure they have that. This is a deep metro station. Makes the exorcist stare seem like a joke. I think this is my train. Yeah, this is it. Because I recognize the terminals. Largo Town Center and New Carrollton. Yep, right here. So I'm uh, here and I need to go this way. Largo Town Center and New Carrollton. Here's the train. All right, folks. I'll see you around later. Thank you for watching this video of Georgetown and the walk to Roslyn and catching the train. Sorry I can't show you the metro ride, but it's been fun. Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.